the Facebook group and share this with you. So welcome, Rosie. If you don't know Rosie Mack, folks, you should. She's an amazing artist. She is an intentional creativity teacher at Color of Woman, and she's also an intuitive powerhouse. And Rosie has done intuitive mastery with me previously. We've known each other for quite a while now, haven't we, Rosie? We have, yeah. yeah. And just and also... I, yeah, I was just going to say, I first met you when, um, when you started out your business oh. and you were at the Mind, Body, Spirit Festival oh. at Addington. And I picked up your business card and my whole body went, oh, no, I'm not going. <laughs> I love that you brought that up because we're going to talk about that, right? That's one of my questions, right, about what your soul wants you to do versus what, our, you know, our fear might be telling us. So welcome, welcome, whoever is joining us. If you are commenting, I'm really sorry, we can't actually see who that is. So my two favorite humans, thank you so much to that beautiful person. But yeah, Rosie's here to unpack her experience. And I love that, you know, just acknowledging your beautiful artwork in the background there too, Rosie, it looks fabulous. Um, and again, to give people an example of what's possible when you really choose yourself and your creativity and what you're here to do. So yeah, we met each other quite a wee while ago, but tell me what your life and maybe where things were at before you stepped into doing intuitive mastery. What was unfolding for you at that period of time in your life? Pretty much. Um, look, I'd done lots of courses, um, read lots of really great books, but nothing really stuck. You know, I was defaulting to behavior patterns that weren't serving me. I mean, I can say that now because I know, but I didn't know it back then. And I had a couple of wake-up calls. Um, I fell and hit my head in the middle of 2016 and had a really good head injury with post-concussion syndrome. Um, so, like, the the universe literally hit me with a piece of four by two, right, as a wake-up. And I didn't really pay enough attention to what was happening. I was working in an environment that wasn't healthy for me. Um and I was really attached to the money that I was making. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to leave that because, well, where's the security, right? Mm -hmm. So um, so then on December the 1st, 2019, I had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And that, so that was the catalyst <laughs> to taking a look at life and, you know, how I'd been, what was happening. You know, it was pretty. It was pretty horrific. Um, mm. I thought I actually ruptured an artery in my neck, and I thought I was going to die. Mm. Scary. So experience. three months after that was a big reflection time, and I think one of the key things for me was thinking, you know, my life is really like a jigsaw puzzle. I've got all these bits, but I've got no picture on the box, and I don't know how it all fits together. Mm -hmm. And so, when the opportunity to to step into intuitive mastery came along my whole body knew and my my rational mind was going oh no 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 you, no, you don't go there how are you going to pay for it blah 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 big story um but i listened to my heart and soul mm. we had a pretty cool conversation to remember because again oh, yes new process to go through intuitive mastery so do you want to share with people about that because that is pretty fun to share that experience of what happens when you choose yourself absolutely so yeah i didn't know how i was going to pay for it and you made a comment to me during the interview process that actually stuck and i didn't know it at the time and i do i understand now that my intuition was talking to me and the comment that you made was do you ever sell your art on facebook and i said well yes i've tried before and it hasn't worked and i got off that call and i and i went what there's something about that that i need to pay attention to so i walked around my apartment and looked at all my paintings and i said okay girls because predominantly feminine images okay girls which one of you wants to go to a new home and one jumped at me straight away so I took a photo I wrote a little like backstory of how that painting evolved posted it on Facebook a friend of mine shared it and one of her friends contacted me 
and purchased the painting and paid for the freight within 24 hours. It was sold. And that were that got me started. And then mm. like and then the rest of it just showed up. Mm. <laughs> out of the blue, out of the blue in really weird places, you know. As I was going through the course, I, I was intuitively guided to open some boxes that I'd had packed up in the garage. There was money in there. Wow. <laughs> nice. It's fun. Right. It is fun. Right. Yeah. I keep going, oh my goodness me. Because my my whole thing was, well, if I'm going to do this course, you, universe, you have to support me because I don't know where it's going to come from. But the pipeline yeah. opened up. <laughs> yeah, and also too, right? That's an act of faith and courage. Mm. That's what uh, your soul is always asking, right? To extend yourself beyond your comfort zone and the rational mind. Because as we learn in intuitive mastery, your mind is really the least powerful part of yourself. Yes, somebody's saying lovely to see you love the magic, Rosie. And that's absolutely, and it feels like magic, right? It feels like, oh my God, because I remember that conversation. I remember, ironically, it was an intuitive download for me to tell you that. Like, you know, intuition has a certain frequency and feeling, and I still remember it because I was guided to tell you that. But it was like the universe was working through both of us to support you in the process of stepping into intuitive mastery and also at the same time giving you the beautiful benefit of the evidence of what happens when you respond to what your body is saying over your mind. So I mm -hmm. love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And also too that, you know, the universe is always trying to get our attention, whether it's through negative circumstances like falling off the ladder and having that head injury or having the stroke, right? It's asking you to pay more attention to what's right. actually important. Yeah, so they're all gifts on the path, even if they look kind of negative. And it can be scary. Um, absolutely. Um, you know, and that, the the negative and the positive, you know, outcomes, like I, when you're in the negative and things are happening to you and you can't see the way out, it feels really awful. Yes. And when you can, like, that's a message to change what you're doing, to change your thinking, to change your reality. Because that was like one of the biggest takeaways was me about the thoughts creating your reality. Well, I'd heard it before. It wasn't a new concept. But I think I made the decision when I stepped into intuitive mastery to actually embody what I was learning. Because mm. you can do all the courses and, and, and if you don't embody it, what's the point? So I went, well, I've got this far. I'm alive. There's something for me to learn here. And, and that is to embody it, to practice it every day. Mm -hmm. um, and so throughout the course, I got to see where those contracted or negative circumstances actually did serve me, that there were blessings in them. I just couldn't see them when it was happening to me. And now, and now, um, because of what I've learned, life doesn't happen to me anymore. It happens for me. I create yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. And that shift in your own power proposition and your authority to be the person who's like, yeah, I've got this. I know what it is to create the reality that I want the way that I want to allow the universe to move through you. So share with us, Rosie, what was your experience of intuitive mastery? I love that you talk about the embodiment because that's so important. Like oftentimes people can hear a concept, but it's quite different to know it or feel it or have that intuitive experience in the physical body. But share with us, what was your experience of intuitive mastery? What was your biggest insights, awarenesses? The, oh my gosh, where do you start? It was absolutely incredible. I never would have imagined that my life could be so different. Um, as I said before about thoughts creating reality, that how I could, how easy it was to default back into patterns of thinking and how that wasn't serving me and being able to use the tools that I learned to actually switch the thinking around. That that became really important for me um, because in the in intentional creativity kind of 
arena, we also talk we talk about self agency, and it's a, you know it's the same thing. Mm. And so I had this kind of double whammy going on where it was like, oh my god, my whole world's blown apart. Mm-hmm. I get now I get to choose. Mm. That uh, wow, well, you know, and then the intuition, learning about my intuition, you know, yes, it had always been talking to me, but I wasn't paying attention. (laughs) I really wasn't paying attention. And so those two things were like, oh my God, they happened to get my attention. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because it's, 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 we talk about this a lot, right? Like how people are getting intuitive hits and guidance all the time but then the rational mind talks them out of it and then they end up grinding their gears and wanting, worrying, they're not getting the outcomes that they desire in their reality. But you know that experience now of having been the person who get who knows that your intuition is talking to you, but actually listening and then taking some action on it, it changes everything, right? It has changed everything, yeah, because, you know, you can, you can listen, but if you don't do, nothing yeah. changes. And so... Yeah, and so many things have changed. You know, I've had amazing opportunities to to, to write a chapter in a book for uh, to empower women. Uh, last year, I was I was given a fifteen thousand dollars scholarship to study with the Intentional Creativity Foundation and move into um, being a practitioner, um, mm-hmm. and then the possibility of teaching this year. So. You know, I've worked with children at the um, Imagination Academy, bringing them um, creative art, fun, intention, looking at um, how we're all connected and just really has been a lot of fun. Yeah, least of all your amazing art. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, and that has changed too, you know. I've really noticed um, some some of my work is quite... You know, because I started out learning to paint um, feminine Im- images mm-hmm. that were a reflection of the essence of who I was. And now it's moving into the more cosmic mm-hmm. realm where, um, you know, there's all these symbols and things. You can look, um, if you can see behind me and at the bottom of the heart, the, uh, this, the side. Right, right, yeah. I, yeah. You know, the, uh, the, heart, the eye of the heart is all seeing. Um, so those things are really dropping in a lot more than they ever used to. I found I used to find it really hard. In fact, my very first painting, um, I was bringing forth an image. I, it was in my training, my my teacher training, and the like. My painting, I was showing pictures of all the work that everybody else was doing, and beautiful, and you know, really stunning stuff. And my picture was a really plain Jane. Mm-hmm. naked had nothing and it were like it wasn't till about six months later that I realized oh my god I came to that course with nothing with and that's why she's naked <laughs> right right so yeah. tell me what it feels like because if you're a, an artist or if you're creative like showing up to a blank canvas can often feel quite intimidating, right? So, and I know that you've said before that when you're painting, you know, the intuitive awarenesses are dropping in and downloading. What does that actually feel like when you're doing it? Oh, it feels incredible. Um, Mm -hmm. It's like, because the canvas, like life is a blank canvas, right? So Mm -hmm. I see the canvas as a portal for information that wants to come through for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So not only am I creating art-wise, I'm also receiving information that is, um, you know, that I can take and put that into action into something else. It might be that I get an intuitive um, download for an idea for a course or, you know, that happened for me with, um, I did a collaboration with an online online painting course with um, a lady in Australia. And that came from a download. Yes, it was was like, oh, you need to work with this person. Yeah, Yeah. this is the 
people don't often understand is that your intuition, you know, it's it's a guidance system, right? So it can yeah. guide you to relationships, it can guide you to making more money, it can guide you to abundance, it can combine you, guide you to intimacy and connections and friendships. Like every anything that you want is available when you know how to tune into it. And often too, you know, like that that feeling, like that sensation of that person's name coming in or that guidance of where to go, like when you get confident with that and you're actually leaning into it, that's when all your manifestations speed up as well. Yeah, and it was really the most beautiful experience with her mm -hmm. um, collaborating um, on, a pro you know, on a project to bring something to fruition and it was actually not long um it was while I was doing intuitive mastery mm -hmm. that we actually mm -hmm. put the thoughts together. Yes. And I, I couldn't have had a more beautiful experience with her. Everything was open and transparent. We were able to communicate really well, critique each other's work really well, take the constructive feedback because I know, like I learned not to take things personally. Nothing mm -hmm. means anything. That was a big aha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a hard one too right for the ego to move beyond right there's no right or wrong and learning about the ego and how it operates and again it's it's not something that like a lot of people think you have to kill the ego but it's really about you know we just want to learn how to work with it so love is leading not fear yeah and of course when you do like all your creativity just goes whoosh which is amazing to see for you rosie too because you know that's that's a very different place from having a head injury or having a stroke or feeling like what the hell and then being in a place where you're like having these connections coming together, doing amazing artwork, having exhibitions, you know, connecting. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. So yeah. that's awesome. So what would you tell other people about intuitive mastery? What do you think people need to know about intuitive mastery? That it is truly life changing. I I could never go back to being the way I was before. I, For me, it's been the catalyst to be the best version of me. And we're always a work in progress, right? I'm always tapping in, you know, learning about emotions and how they are like in, in a map of the, ter of the territory, the inner landscape map. Mm -hmm. wow you know and they're not good bad right or wrong they are there to show you what needs to be shifted in order for you to evolve into the best version of you mm -hmm. so you know like I know this is always going to be an ongoing growth for me you know growth for me is I let the universe support me and allow myself to expand more and more and more you know, for as long as I'm on this planet. So, like, if you're sitting on the fence, just like Nike says, just do it. Like, <laughs> yes, I it. But I wouldn't have had it any other way. I would, I just wouldn't have had it any other way. I'm so grateful and so blessed because of saying yes. That was a yeah. choice to say yes because I, I made a choice to put myself first yeah yeah and that's massive right like a lot of people don't understand when you're choosing your intuition you're choosing yourself like often it can be easy for the rational mind to go oh i can do this program but this program is not about that it's about embodiment and choosing yourself and when you do that everything shifts and changes but i tell you what let's go back to the comment that you made at the very beginning right about being scared right you said that when we met at the body mind and spirit and you picked up my card and your body was like oh right because often too when we're stepping into something that is life-changing right our perception in our mind can be it can create fear so what would you oh. say to people who were feeling afraid that as you go through the program you learn well, I learned, for me, I learned that, you know, really there's only two. There's fear and love. So which one are you operating from? Mm -hmm. And when you choose to operate from the love perspective of knowing yourself as a divine soul, having a human experience, it changes everything. This, like I was able, yes, the ego went, had a shit fit, really. <laughs> like, who do you think 
uh, going there and oh my god how you know what about the money and blah 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 big stories big big stories and now like those stories don't run me anymore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it's you, ha you have to choose to do it for you over the fear mm. because otherwise the fear will continue to control your your whole life as it was with me you know everything was fear-based and now it's freedom mm. coming you know when you when I when I stepped into being having love as a, as a way of being mm -hmm like being heart-centered and that having that be at the center of all my choices that made such a huge difference the the fear just dropped away it was like oh okay i've got this like one of my one of my routines in the morning is to look in the mirror and go i've got this mm -hmm. beautiful Maybe i love love, love yeah i love what you just said because that is so freaking powerful and it's a you know it's it's the energy behind it right because you're embodied in it whereas once upon a time like we could say something like that and the brain is processing it but when you know what it is to experience that in your life and your body the whole landscape shifts like everything rearranges so i freaking love it because that's so powerful to understand what it is to be the person who knows how to face their fear because what happens what you think is you you cultivate a certain sense of confidence in regards to how to face fear or you can identify you can see oh look i'm in a bit of resistance there must be some fear here so I know what to do next rather than just yep. stopping. Yeah. yeah, having those tools has been invaluable for, for me. Like I could not look in the mirror when I before I started intuitive mastery, I couldn't look in the mirror and say, I like you even. Mm. Yeah. So having learning to forgive myself for past choices in the first instance and being able to switch that and see the blessing in it mm -hmm. that was massive mm -hmm. developing self-compassion self-love to to the point where now i can look in the mirror and i like who i see i love my who i have become as a human like mm -hmm. that i know in my heart and soul that i'm a divine soul mm -hmm. that's the human side of me that I've fallen Yes. Yes. Because I love practical magic, right? Like you're we all we're all souls, but we're having a human experience. And we can often, I don't know, sometimes I've seen it before where people can have a certain sense of exclusion for the humanity. And it's like, no, we need to embrace our humanness. Like one thing that you and I had a conversation about was you know, knowing the difference between your ego and boundaries because you're human uh -huh. to feel safe. So it does need a boundary and loving yourself enough to even put a boundary in place, which again is the kind of thing that we cover in intuitive mastery, right? Like understanding. So yeah, I love, love, love what you're saying. And also too, what I love even more, Rosie, is the fact that you're energetically embodied in it, right? You can tell by talking to you that the energy is within you, like you've done the inner work, which is so beautiful to witness too. Yeah. 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 And yeah. there, you know, like I had resistance come up all the time and it was like, yeah, yeah, I see. I know, you're just scared. It's okay. We're going to yeah. do it. Yeah. We, you know, we're getting it. And the more that... The more that I practiced the, what I was learning, the easier it became. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it can actually be quite fun too, right? To develop your yeah. interest. Oh, yeah. And I, you know, like I discovered that um, because I'd been a nurse, I discovered that I was a raging perfectionist. And getting that <laughs> shifted was really incredible. You know, and it, you can see it because I talked about the painting, the very first painting that I did. I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted it to be beautiful and like everybody else. And it turned out to be a plain Jane. And what a blessing that was, you know, because I wouldn't have seen it if I had done a more beautiful painting. I wouldn't have seen that mm -hmm. aspect of, you know, like bearing everything and being naked and having the opportunity to kind of start all over. 
Because and that's something that we do every day. You know, every day is a new beginning. We ha I have a, a an opportunity to, you know, if it's something didn't work yesterday, well, we'll try something else today and just listen and see what yeah. the guidance is. Because sometimes, you know, I'm human. My mind gets in the way sometimes. Mm -hmm. And now I notice that really quickly. Mm. So I was, um, I have a question too, right? Because I think a lot of times people, like, what would you answer this question? I know we're going a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's still there. Um, yep. I have my phone on silent. Anyway, um, what do you think the difference is now? Because, you know, a lot of the time I talk about how people live in their heads. Yeah. What do you feel like it's like to shift down and to live more from your body? Can you speak to that a little bit? Because sometimes that's not so necessarily so easy to explain to people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it feels um, blissful, to be honest. Mm. It, it feels like freedom that I'm no longer bound by the, the trappings of my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not in my head hardly at all yes when I have to plan something mm -hmm. it's still like listening to my body though it's still like finding out is there is that is that an intuitive nudge and then saying asking for clarification when I'm not so so sure because you know mm -hmm. we still there's still some doubts that show up and mm -hmm. that's all part of the process of living mm -hmm. um so I think, yeah, accept, it's about, for me, I think it was about learning to accept me, mm -hmm. knowing that my emotions are felt in my body and checking them out and mm -hmm. seeing what, you know, what doesn't serve me, what's good, doing more of what feels good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just keeping, keeping on, um, keeping on going in the flow so mm. I'm more, much more in flow much more creative life feels free mm -hmm. everything mm. is like pretty much most of the time things happen with ease and grace and I just I think also that um I've really cultivated an attitude of gratitude mm. Yeah, being, that's what being I mean. grateful for everything, no matter what it was, mm -hmm. and so yeah. that also that helped really shift me from here. Because mm. it's not the mind that's grateful; it's the heart that's grateful. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes, that is so true. And you know, the heart just wants to love, right? And love, and love, and love. So, you know, when we shift out of our mind, it's like going on vacation, right? It's like, oh my god, all this freedom—it's glorious, right? To be in that place of like, oh, I just, you know, like I—I I don't have to worry, I don't have to ruminate, I don't have to overanalyze because I know even doing that doesn't serve me. My guidance will show me, and it will show me often through my body so amazing yeah, and learning to trust that was huge for me like yeah. so you know just going back to that perfectionism comment that I hadn't realized because when you're a nurse you you know it could be life and death you're looking after people mm -hmm. and and sometimes life and death situations and you have to get it right but I hadn't mm -hmm. realized how much it had invaded my way of being and so yeah. she, and shifting out of that way of being and allowing life to show me how beautiful it could be was magical. Yeah. Wonderful. Last question I have for you, Rosie. What do you think people need to know about their intuition? It it will never fail you. Mm. Even when even when it was telling me things that I didn't want to hear and didn't want to see. It was always right. Yeah. And, so, <laughs> yeah. and so, you know, learning to tap in, to yeah. really tune in at a really deep level like nothing I'd ever done before mm -hmm. has been the most freeing, expansive experience of my whole life. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be 67 next week. Oh, and life has never been good. 
never been good. Never, never been, been so good. Never been so oh, good. With this cut out, it's never been yeah. so good. And to get to that place, right, that you know that the rest of your life is the best of your life. I think that's super important because that's in an internal process. It's about the relationship that you're having with yourself. And when you're trusting yeah. your intuition, you can just relax into that freedom. So congratulations, Rosie, on all your success, your continued success, your amazing artwork, everything that you've achieved and opened up to by following your intuition. It's been amazing to see you flourish. I know you're a deeply heart-based woman and it definitely shows in your energy and your art and what you're contributing to others, the joy of creativity by connection. So congratulations to you. And um, yeah, I feel so blessed to have met you. Even if you, you know, when we first met, you picked up my card and you know noticed their energy of like oof, right it is often like that because yeah. when we're in a place energetically and we know that there's more fear often shows up but you can still make a choice beyond your fear and your intuition's always there to guide you to that so I'm yeah. so thankful for you thank you so much yeah, yeah. like just just do it guys just do it you won't regret it it's the most amazing experience I've ever had and I so you know like I don't there's I so wish that I'd learned this so much younger you know imagine what my life could have been like I have no regrets about it because everything that happened to me has brought me to this place mm -hmm. if, all, if all of those experiences hadn't happened I pro I may not be the beautiful heart-based woman that I've become and fallen in love with mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. Have faith. trust trust that it will all unfold perfectly yeah yeah absolutely and also too right your intuition's there to show you every single step of the way so just responding to some comments looks like jack's here she was like i was on the brink of checking out and rosie pulled me out of the quagmire hosed me down to reveal the gem that was within i'm forever grateful this is jack oh, thanks, jack. <laughs> oh, that's all right folks so intuitive mastery is kicking off again very soon i'm going to post a link here it is an interview process because we need to make sure that you're in a place to make that level of commitment to your own evolution to your spirituality and to make the universe your highest priority when you do everything else falls into place hopefully you'll all be congratulating uh, rosie with me in terms of choosing herself and also your birthday next week beauty have a happy, happy birthday Thank but I'll look forward to, um, yeah, see you guys in the group. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the Facebook group and we'll have a look at them. Rosie and I can answer them. If you've got any questions for Rosie, I'm sure she would be happy to respond on the post as well. But yeah, your intuition is your your ultimate guiding light and it's there to bring you so much joy and expansion. And Rosie is the perfect demonstration of that. Thank I you so much, time. Rosie. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Take your life from this to this yes <laughs> yes absolutely it's all possible when you choose yourself yeah right you are your biggest asset so i love that i love that rosie thank you so much for coming on and sharing <laughs> all right everybody we look forward to getting, getting again soon bye for now bye, bye.